Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I want to talk to you about Query Store. Query Store is magic. Query Store is pretty cool. Uh, if you're not aware of it, uh, Query Store was introduced in 2016, uh, enhanced in 2017, and um, it's an Azure SQL database and it's been enhanced there as well. And it's a fantastic resource for information about your queries. It's a data store of metadata about queries. Um, including the query itself, execution plans for the query, and runtime metrics and wait statistics, all available for your query. If you've never seen it before, it's time to check it out. Let's go take a look. All right, so here we are in Management Studio. I'm just going to walk you through the basics on Query Store, on how it works on a database by database level. Uh, we're going to start off using the GUI to see what's happening with it. So if we right click here, um, we can immediately go down to the database properties and once that opens we switch over here to query store now query store immediately um, set up and ready to go on your any of your 2016 or 2017 databases you can turn it on turn it off right from here basically uh, you go to the operations mode um, read write as normal read only as a possibility or just off um, it's pretty pretty straightforward the data flush interval is how frequently it writes out the data to disk because it re records everything uh, first into memory and then it has an asynchronous process that writes it out to disk. And so you can affect the, the frequency with which it writes to disk um, or the amount of memory it uses. So if it's using too much memory, then you may want to sacrifice some I.O. and have it write more frequently. Um, you know, it's a dance that you can get into. Most of the time defaults will work here. Also, you can affect the statistics interval, uh, collection interval. Now, the statistics collection interval is interesting because what it does is it captures aggregated runtime metrics. It's not individual query metrics, but it's aggregated runtime metrics for each query. And those aggregates are aggregated over an hour. The beauty of that is, is it gives you before and after. Um, I've talked about before and after in, in another video I recorded earlier. Um, but you get the idea uh, that you can get in there and see what's going on, you know, this time yesterday or an hour ago or whatever and have that ability to go well it was slow now it's fast it was fast now it's slow that comparison point now by default it's 100 megs I've been messing with this one mine's 200 megs although you can see down right there in the usage that I've only currently using 5 megs of storage um, the capture mode is very interesting because you can set it to none, meaning it won't capture anything. It's still there and functional, but it's not capturing new queries. Um, you can set it to all, which is the default, and it captures every query that goes by. Or you can set it to auto. Now, auto, by definition, says right there, um, captures queries based on resource consumption. Now, that definition is, is up to Microsoft, and they're going to change it probably over time. Um, you know, we don't know. So far, it's been all, all the same, and, and the resource consumption basically breaks down to any query that runs longer than a second or any query, <clears throat> excuse me, any query that's called three times um, will, will become uh, um, captured and, and will maintain information. And then they've got a stale query threshold of 30 days, so any query that's over 30 days old um, will get flushed out of the system um, if it has not had activity, if it's constantly being called then it, it'll stay in there. But, but if it hasn't had any activity, it will clear out. And so there's, that's the basics of setting it up from the GUI standpoint. Oh, and yeah, you can purge the query data from right there. We're not going to do that because it would make the next bit of the demo really bad. So once we've got it set up, once we've got it running, there's actually query store reports built into here. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but... Um, You've got the regressed queries, which are queries that are running slower than they did previously. Um, just overall resource consumption, a way of looking at different things um, that are consuming the resources. Top resource consuming queries, queries with forced plans, and forced plans is going to have to be another discussion on another day. Um, queries with high variation and tracked queries. And yes, you can mark a query and track it over time, which is pretty cool. Let's just look at top resource consuming queries. And it opens up a nice report window, and it's broken up into three areas. Over on the left, we get to see the queries. On the right, we get to see the um, different types of plans over time as those queries are behaving. And then down at the bottom, we actually get to see the query itself. And so you can see that we can look at different queries using varying amounts of resources 
and we get to see their plans and how those plans are behaving. Now, right now, my system's not under any kind of load, so mostly these are monitoring queries, and they're all running actually pretty fast, really. Um, but you get a sense of what's going on with the various facts that we can see all the information about queries and control them. Um, from here, we can force and unforce plans. I'll have to detail that at another time. But it basically gives us the ability to control um, the plans used by the optimizer. Um, there's all kinds of additional things within this that we can go over, but you've got a rough idea of the kinds of information you're going to see within Query Store. So that's Query Store, the basics. And um, just remember that it is a database by database setting, so you'll want to be able to you know, turn it on or turn it off per database. Azure SQL database has it on by default, so if you don't want it there, you'd have to turn it off. But otherwise, it's just a great way to track your queries and know what's happening with them um, over time. And um, it, it's just, it's one of those why isn't everyone using this right out of the gate kind of situations. Um, it's, it, it really does change the game in terms of query tuning, um, monitoring your systems, and keeping an eye on what's going on. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.